SATO starts with a variety of blended guitar parts for an eerie sounding clean intro. When the song kicks in, Randy unloads one of his most intricate rhythm guitar parts. Although the main structure is repeated several times, we are able to witness just how brilliant Randy was as each section is repeated with a different approach and several intricate fills. After a musical break, Randy takes one of his longest recorded solos, which has us playing all over the guitar neck, often countering with ascending passages and descending melody. The intro to SATO follows the chord progression E minor, C major 7, A sus 2, and D sus 2. And as the intro progressed, the D modulates to a B minor form, which bridges to the verse of the song. The intro sounds very complex because there are several guitar parts overdubbed to different guitar tracks and blended in and out with each other. First, the basic structure would be the chords themselves, starting with E minor. Strings one, two, and three are open. Play the fourth string second fret with the middle, fifth string second with the index, and the sixth string is open. For the basic structure, The solo kicks off in phrase 11. It starts with a quick lead-in note, palm muted on the 6th string 12th fret, then move your index up to the 14, 16 with the ring, to 5th string 14, 16, then 4th string 14, 16. Lightly mute up to here, and then lift the palm mute and play the 3rd string 14, 16, well 14 slide to 16 and play 18 with the ring finger to the second string 17 with the index hammer to 19 to first string 17 with the index then down to 16 and slide down the neck there's another guitar playing this in a lower position as well as a similar version in the high position which we'll learn a little bit later for now here's a slow practice run Phrase 12 starts out. Thank you. 